beloved soul it's encoding shamanic peacemaker so welcome to this um very exciting reading i feel like um we have three decks to choose from and um i want to know about your person's next sexual and romantic actions toward you <laughs> okay so um the energy that's coming in from the divine masculine is very powerful <laughs> so it, it's about action today okay you guys i'm gonna be asking about them their who are they put, going to portray themselves as coming in to this um when they take this action and what are their challenge and uh, what are their real feelings and their instincts and their wants and what is the action going to look like okay and uh, there will be an extended as well where we're gonna um, be taking some messages from them to you and um, I also want to know when <laughs> in the extended okay so um, this is what we're gonna do today all the bluish colors was inspired by a reading I just made um, and uh, Divine Masculine was like, keep the colors, <laughs> we're coming in. <laughs> so um, you choose from this tarot Illuminati, I'll show you this crystal in this pile. Or you can choose Tarot of Sexual Magic, this little guy wanted to join us once again. And we have Tarot Illuminati. yeah so let's get moving you guys so this reading is for those of you who chose deck crystal number one all right so let's see your person here i want to know who are they What's their energy right this minute? Want to know what's going on inside of them? Ooh, you just wanted to join. Ace of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I really feel like an energy uh, regarding what we're, we're talking about, taking action, that they're thinking about and planning a strategy of how to come in wanting to do something um they just need to um, be clear about it they so they're waiting uh for that <laughs> uh clarity this is definitely what i'm getting here okay so their challenge is death okay so there is an ending that has to happen before they can come in here okay um, there is a decision and also an ending uh, that has to take place until they are actually ready to come in and tell you exactly what they feel and what they want. Um, that's what's making them wait right now, okay? Um, so what does that make them portray themselves as in this next action that they're going to take what will they portray themselves as nine of wands okay hmm. okay so they're going to seem a little bit um withdrawn um There is either an energy that they will take care of themselves or they will take care of you. So let's see what the next cards uh, say. They will, be, they will be portray themselves as a little bit hard, harsh, um, that energy that comes in. Okay, so what are their real feelings? What are their real feelings? Ten of Cups. In the bottom we have six of Cups. I'll just take it. And when I take that up, we have two of Cups. And okay, I feel like the reading is just <laughs> moving on by itself like this. 
so I, I'll just uh, stop here okay so <laughs> what's going on here is that their real feelings are they love you they have so much love for you um, but they're not able to show you uh, at once and they might seem a little closed off but their real feelings inside of themselves is that they recognize you from a past life they recognize your soul and they love you they want a relationship with you and they feel so much passion or they think of you as someone very beautiful and charismatic and and uh, charming and um, I feel like this can be you the queen of wands but it can also be you know what's going on inside of them they're passionate about you okay so um, <laughs> So what are their wants? King of Cups. Wow. Someone's uh, lovey-dovey about you here. <laughs> this is very, very nice. I'm so sorry. The camera is a uh, screw and all sorts of stuff. What's going on here? I'm sorry. I, on I didn't see that until now. But we don't care because this reading is very powerful, right? <laughs> very loving. <laughs> so, um, wow. Why are they so afraid? What's going on? They are... Something from the past, they have to let go of some things from the past. And, uh, and that's why they're protecting themselves a little bit. They are... Have some issues from the past that they are bringing back into this relationship and it's you can sort of sense it you can see it but just beneath that all of their wishes come true when they watch you and see you and imagine you together okay because they know you and I feel like this is definitely something they want with you this is definitely something they want and they want to come in it's this beautiful romantic energy and give you just the world the world they want to do that <laughs> okay um yeah with the knight of cups they want to come in as the knight of cups and spirit is saying to me put that on top of the portrayal card up here uh, i don't know why i did that um because they want to portray themselves as the knight of cups they know that you deserve um, some a beautiful entrance in your life so they are definitely uh, contemplating this and I feel like uh, perhaps not at the next meeting but at least the second or the third you will see all of this you will see and feel all of this so perhaps they will come in with flowers and uh, really um, give you something, a beautiful gift or something, but they will still have a sense of them uh, being a little... Um, um, they're holding a little bit back, okay? But no, if they bring you flowers, they really do that because they have all of these beautiful feelings. This is a relationship, this is passion, this is king of love, queen and king we have here, right? They see you as this beautiful beauty and I feel like also uh, you might be a spiritual person or you just have an energy um, that they have never seen before, a charm, uh, like a... They're so attracted to you, this is what I'm getting. And the last one here, we have the Knight of Swords. So they are going to come in. This is the action card, okay? So this is what they want. Their wants are, they want to come be with you as a couple um, uh, in a relationship, beautiful, loving relationship, soulmate, whatever relationship. And they want to come in as the Knight of Swords. That means taking action coming towards you as fast as I can bringing you flowers and romance love love <laughs> lots of things like that okay wow so you guys uh, this was really fast and really good right <laughs> I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the extended what they want to say to you if they could right now what did they want to say 
um, and when will this take place okay so um, join me in uh, my um, membership site where you get these extendeds a lot cheaper than before okay so um, and uh, we can have lots of fun in there okay you guys so thank you so much for watching uh, pile number one I'll see you later take care so this reading is for those of you who chose deck and crystal number two okay uh, and I'll just put this little guy up here <laughs> he wants to stand <laughs> oh my god oh my god all right, so uh, let's see your person and their energy. I want to know right now what, what are they contemplating about their next actions towards you, sexual and, and uh, romantically. I feel like I want to see what is going on here. Mm, pile number two's person, please come in. That energy for the collective, the change. Pile number two. All right, Knave of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. That's the Page of Pentacles. So I'm getting a. Uh, um, just an energy I will come in slow I will come in slowly and um, <laughs> I'm getting a uh, sort of put a spell on you that energy <laughs> am I getting uh, from this card here um, perhaps uh, mm, some of them are wanting to get you drunk <laughs> And uh, in that sense, put a spell on you, or they, they just really want to um, uh, come toward you. Like, um, in a, I'm getting like a little mystical energy. Perhaps it's them, it's their type of person. Okay. So, what is, uh, what are they going to portray themselves as? What are they going to portray themselves as? ace of pentacles okay so this is a very beautiful energy right it's um wow <clears throat> they did they just really want to um there this pe pentacle energy is like uh taking that five dimension love down to earth what I want with you is real. I want to be with you. I want to make love to you. I want to care for you. I want to make you feel loved while we're making love. Uh, I just want to protect you. I want to be your comfort. I want to... So this is definitely what your person is uh, planning to do next time. Uh, they take action towards you. So portraying as the Ace of Pentacles is not a bad thing. They're going to come in authentically because I feel like they're going to want to show you. Yeah, let's see if it's authentic. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, because now we're, we're going, we're getting to the challenge. But the, the energy of these two cards is I want it to be authentic. Okay. <clears throat> and their challenge is the Empress, Empress, and then we have um, Temperance. Wow. For the real feelings. Okay. So yeah, uh, they're coming in authentically up here. Okay, because this is their real feelings. Okay. So um, their challenge is that you're the Empress. And they feel like, can I even compare with this beautiful divine feminine, this beautiful, loving, caring, motherly, uh, loving lover, uh, woman energy is like, can I, can I, 
am I divine masculine enough for this? This is a challenge for them. Okay? But their real feelings are, I can't not. I just can't not be with you. Because you are my twin. You are my twin. With this temperance card. I'm definitely getting that. Uh, I just, I, I feel so overwhelmed when I think about it. Um, I'm scared that I'm not enough. I'm scared that I won't compare to you. I'm, but I know that there is something much deeper here, something we can't do. I can't do anything about it. It's just there. It's just, I want you. I must have you. I just not can't not ha not have you. Um, I'm sorry, my speech is getting uh, so weird in this reading. I I'm, because I'm getting this nervousness of this energy of this person here. <laughs> um, when I thought perhaps this was not authentically, this was their doubt. It was them, you know, not knowing exactly what the heck is this? I've never tried this before. I'm getting so oh, overwhelmed. I have never felt this way ever before toward anyone at all. Never, ever. Okay. Um, because temperance is like I always say uh, to me the next step of the lovers card where the lovers is more uh, youthful more sexual love um, and the temperance card is a more mature love it's um now we've learned and we have awakened uh, and found love toward ourselves each of us we know who we are even though we're different completely different we fit so well together so this is a heightened love, a very, very high-frequency love, okay? And the Empress, I feel like you're, that's you, and you can't not have anything but a high-frequent love because you know who you are and you have found that love toward yourself. You have found a balance within your own in internal Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, as have your person, okay? Um, uh, and they feel that. This is their real feelings. So their instinct. I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on with this reading and the camera. I feel like the camera is sort of falling down <laughs> while I do the reading. Uh, perhaps there are some screws I have to uh, tighten. <laughs> Can I have a Divine Masculine to do that, please? <laughs> My screws <laughs> need tightening. Okay, so their instinct is the Hermit. Yeah, okay. They get scared, they get... Ah, let me just uh, crawl back uh, into the my warm pit and um, warm hole and uh, <laughs> take care of myself here. <laughs> And, um, and their wants are justice. Okay. So I feel like once again I have an energy from one of my readings. I, perhaps this is the same energy. Okay. Because um, uh, it's like the energy is I've been so much bullshit all my life. It hasn't been fair to me. I'm so sick and tired of it. And now you come in, and I can't not be with you. And, but, ah, I just don't know how to do it because I've been so disappointed again and again over and over in my life. So, so what they're wanting is now justice. Now I just want everything to be fair to me for once and to you, to everybody. But I'm so scared because whenever I look at you, I see myself and that mirror is like, shit, that's me. You're mirroring. And I'm not, perhaps I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to see myself in you, in your eyes. Um, it's scary like hell. 
And how can you love me like you do? I don't understand. How can you love me? So I go, I go into my little wormhole here and mm, just have a, a little talk with my higher self, with my God, my spirit, my whatever. I'm hiding a little bit. I just, I really know there is a sun waiting for me. There is a love waiting for me, but I'm not ready yet. I just need to withdraw myself a little bit and spirit say, and now you know it. So don't hate on them for doing this because they're really trying. They really are trying a lot because they know that it's you that they, you, they want. They know that it's you that they want. They know it. They're just scared. Uh, will it be unfair to me once again if I say yes with open heart? Will I find myself heartbroken once again? And I feel like I'm getting sad and sorrowful and scared and almost wanting to cry a little bit when I think with them about what's been going on in their life. They have had lots and lots of experience, I feel. Um, and so, of course, they can't believe that something as good as this, as this can happen. Okay. Um, their actions is the Hierophant. And the Knave of Challenges, Eight of Wands, King of Challenges, Star, okay, so Three of Ch Pentacles, Strength, yeah, I had to take them all, Spirit say, said, <laughs> okay, so, um, all right. A little more came so these are their actions <laughs> all right so the hierophant is they're, they're coming in and saying I love you I feel like I this is true love to me it's um, I just love you the hierophant is grounding love grounding the temperance love into the 3d okay so um, at one point perhaps they will ask for your hand in marriage spirits say all right. Um, until them, then they're gonna be. There, there's gonna be some challenges. This is what these cards tell us about spirits. Say, because of they are twin flames, and twin flames are all about doubt, 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 on both sides. Okay. Whenever you're doubting, well, they sit in their sofa at home and doubt. Whenever they're doubting, then you're like, what the heck? Um, I think not. <laughs> you know, back and forth. This is like crazy. All right, so they're gonna be like with the knave of chalices, um, yeah. But I feel like also they will tell you, uh, write to you uh, perhaps on uh, messenger. Um, I don't know how, what you do, SMS. Write you some loving words. I feel like, and sometimes they erase what they have written because they're like, no, I, it's too soon. I will just. Um, make her run away from me I, or them want to run away i can't do it uh, uh, and um and i feel like also sometimes they're thinking about you being with another person and that just kills them kills them eight of wands at one point it's gonna this action is going to take speed um and uh, the king of chalices the king of cups right they are just gonna come in and uh, share all of their contemplation what they discovered after having healed themselves <laughs> for some time this is how i feel about you i love you uh you're my wish come true with the star here what's my camera <laughs> so um sorry and um, three of pentacles. Let's have a life together. Let's just have beautiful, uh, beautiful, loving relationship and just be those kind of married people that just, you know, make love all the time because we can't not touch each other and we need each other um, at least once or twice a week. <laughs> okay. 
those married couples that just keep, you know, um, the love going, the sex going. So this is what I'm getting, that this is what their wish is. And their actions are going to be like I'm coming in and showing you that I can actually be um, a husband, a wife, or, yeah, strength. They're coming in with strength and showing you all their lust. <laughs> it's going to be passionate when they come in with their actions and um, four of cups. They're still going to be like, I really hope you feel the same as me. Uh, still going to be like, oh, can we do it? Can, can, will you um, receive my gift? <laughs> okay. Uh, and the last card is Knight of Cups. So, um, <clears throat> so I feel like um, they're stepping up from um, the Knave of Cups to the Knight of Cups not on shore anymore <laughs> and uh they're gonna say okay yeah perhaps uh they are they don't feel the same way as i do but the hell with it i'm coming in and i'm grabbing them and i'm taking them and i'm gonna be so passionate toward them i'm gonna give them everything they want everything they need in bed and in romantically emotionally um uh, life-wise, um, I'll just show them I'm here. Okay, so whew, what a passionate reading. <laughs> uh, this person is really uh, into you. <laughs> so um, I get it, I get it. So come with me to the extended. We're gonna um, grab some messages, um, some oracles and some messages and uh, some timing cards. When is this uh, going to happen, okay? So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna screw on my camera <laughs> before I do the next reading. <laughs> so thank you and uh, take care. So hello, this reading is for those of you who chose Pile and Crystal number three. All right, so let's get moving with your reading, your person, their actions, their sexual romantic <laughs> thoughts about how to come in <laughs> next time. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, let's hear from them. I just can't wait. I want to know right now their energy right now. While, what they're planning, what they're thinking about here. This beautiful Illuminati tarot. Okay, you're stuck to my hand. Seven of Wands. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm going to take care of myself. There is an energy if I really have to take care of myself. Before I come in, I don't know exactly what is going to happen. But right now, I'm just taking a break. I'm taking some time off for myself. I'm taking just a little while. Um, there is something that is stopping me uh, coming forward here. It's something in perhaps your life, their life, that is not making it possible right now, um, okay? And they know if they come in just right now, then it's not gonna be the right timing. It can't, they can't right now. They, they just can't mm, either uh, find the courage or they can't, um, in a practical way, they just can't. Um, there is nothing that's, there's something that's not allowing them uh, to come in. So, um, so this is uh, what they're thinking about this very minute um, about this one. So when, once they come in, who or what will they portray as to you? Who or what will they portray as to you? the fool okay so <laughs> hmm. yeah this is a very interesting energy here um 
because I feel a doubt here in the seven of wands and the fool is like really sort of ignorant. I'll just take that leap of faith. I'll do it. So how they come in is like, you're going to be like, didn't you think about how to come in? They're going to be like, well, let's do, I'll just do it. And they're going to feel a little immature. I feel like, um, like a little, like I, I just didn't, um, consider um exactly what what was going on and but now i'm here i'm here and <laughs> and i feel like they can come in as like a little bit of, of a surprise here for you then um, it would be a surprise and uh, and i feel like they I, they might also surprise themselves here in this energy here a little immature a little um blindsiding everyone even themselves little shock a little shocking uh, way to come in here so uh, let's see what are their challenge going to be regarding this um, so um, we have the six of wands and the queen of wands <laughs> okay so their challenge is actually you and mm, the beauty of who you are and um <laughs> and and having everybody to uh feel good about their decision their very uh surprising decision of coming in here um toward you and <laughs> um yeah i'm sorry my camera is i i actually i didn't screw it on <laughs> i should have uh, it's been uh, irritating me all through this reading i'll try and take a look at it after so um i'll promise i will look at the camera as much as possible you know how i close my eyes right <laughs> So, um, well, um, it's just like, I don't know if they're not get, getting everybody's respect the way that they want or that everybody's eyes are on them um, because there might be a difference between their energy and yours. Like they are a little immature con compared to you that have this queen of wands energy a very beautiful um, very strong charismatic uh lively um charming um divine feminine <clears throat> they really want to look good as they come in they really want to look like strong and <laughs> and i don't know very very uh strong and mature and stuff like that but it's a challenge for them it's a challenge for them okay so let's see what are their real feelings what are their real feelings prince of cups okay and the four of swords the queen of swords and i feel like i have to take yeah i feel like this was it for now so um the real feelings are they really love you they really want to come in on that horse you see we have two horses here they really want to look good so that you can find them very attractive um but um i feel like they know that they just have to they have made uh, some sort of um, uh, a stop, a blockage in this energy between you because they felt they were, were not ready because they had to protect themselves from, you know, the, their own fear. This is what I'm getting. So they have taken um, a few four of sword moments where they have been sort of healing this fear. They have tried to um, mend that fear within themselves because this fear has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with them and their past. Okay. 
And then because they acted like that, you became that energy of the Queen of Swords. Okay, so... Um, and because you were like, what, what what's going on? I want to know what you feel about me. Can you just tell me? Uh, I'm, I don't want this doubt. I don't, I don't want this relationship where you just can't tell me what, how you feel and uh, are so insecure uh, all the time. I really want to know. Uh, and I am a strong, divine feminine. I'm not taking anyone's crap or bullshit anymore. Okay, so come, come correct or don't come at all. That's the energy I'm getting from this Queen of Swords. And they know their real feelings are they love you, but they're scared of you now. They don't know how to come in because what if you really uh, deny them? If you, if you um, say, I'm uh, not interested anymore. I'm just not interested in you anymore, okay? So, uh, so what are their instinct? I want to know what their instinct is here. What are their instincts toward pile number two, the tower, and the sun, and two of pentacles. I had to take them all, and the devil. Okay, and... Um, well, so their instinct is to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, make a complete change within. I feel like uh, come in as the fool very fast and, uh, and just uh, try, just try. Um, and create a moment with you um, and try and make you happy the way you deserve um, and uh, but they're still doubting a little bit they're doubting if they should come in and portray that full energy uh, is this what you want is a prize from me is will how will you take it how will you think I'm weird or I'm, I'm crazy I'm whatever i just i, just, I don't know um or i'm back and forth because perhaps it will make you so happy you will love it with the sun or you will hate me and say to me you're such a freaking manipulative idiot <laughs> with the devil um but they know that as a, a tower moment is necessary Okay, because you became the, the queen of swords and the queen of swords is like, I'm not taking anyone's bullshit. I am confident. I'm self-assured now. But they know that also that you're not actually the queen of swords. You're the queen of pentacles. You're inside. You're so beautiful and loving and warm. The queen of, of swords is warm inside, not cold, right? So, so they really hope that they can bring that in, the warmth. They hope they can bring the warmth out of you and this Queen of Pentacles out of you. Um, because now they're sort of scared of you, okay? Um, they're scared of this one, this one, and they're scared of this moment. They're scared that you will see them as a devil and that, you know, they will have a really bad tower moment. A tower moment can be also a very good one, but <laughs> they're so scared. Okay, so, um, well, I'll, uh, um, uh, so, <laughs> and I feel like these are the, ac the action that they're, they're co they have a lot of contemplation here <laughs> about how to come forward, right? So their instinct is to, um, there are two, it's dualistic, right? This instinct is to um, try to make a choice right now. Try to make a choice. Uh, or either, and still I feel like it's also them that are either hot or cold toward you. And that's why now you're hot and cold toward them. You're sort of mirroring that, okay? Because you felt 
sometimes I feel you like completely. You come in as this beautiful sun and give me so much uh, hope and happiness and love. And then suddenly, where the heck are you? You're gone. You're in the Four of Sword energy, like uh, mending your own business, minding your own business and mending your own body, your soul. Because of that fear, that fear makes you cold. You're cold sometimes and sometimes you're warm and nice and loving. I don't want that. I become the Queen of Source when I see this all the time. Make up your freaking mind with the Two of Cups here. Can you make a choice between those two? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry, this is the Queen of Wands, it's not the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so because um, the Wands is the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, and the Three of Wands. And uh, I feel like, yeah, just a minute. We'll take the rest at uh, just a minute. So the, um, their wants is you. They want a beautiful, loving, caring relationship with this fiery person, this charming uh, queen that is also um, a grounded, loving, divine feminine with the queen of pentacles, self-sufficient, knows who sh they are. And just... Um, this is what they have been dreaming of okay so uh and they're planning here they're wanting to uh have those uh, ships come in <laughs> wanting to come towards you and uh, make it happen okay so um that's why they are thinking about portraying themselves as the fool it's like okay i'll just come in uh, as fast as I humanly possible can here. Um, so their actions. What are their actions? Ace of Wands. The Chariot. Okay. What beautiful cards we have here. Okay, so um, when, once they do come in, it will be passionate. It will be the fool's energy, like... <sighs> And um, they they were they're gonna come in and say uh, I know it's it's us I just uh, I really want this I want you um, as the the chariot and I feel like they will this is a major arcana right so um, and uh, wow this is a very beautiful energy um, them coming in and telling you. Um, I have all this love for you, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so, um, and I know uh, I've been acting uh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> uh, this relationship scared the hell out of me. Um, so I'm sorry. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like they're gonna make the choice to come in show you the sun and say i want a happy life with you i want to love you i respect you so much um i'm sorry i've been so immature i'm sorry um i wasn't the the person that you were looking for and i and i'm sorry i brought you to the queen of swords energy I, it was never my intent to act like a devil because i'm actually not a devil i feel like they're not I was just scared. Okay, so let's take this to the extended. We're going to do some oracles and um, and some uh, messages from them to you, some uh, romance, sexual messages, and then we're going to know uh, when is this going to happen. Um, because this person has a lot of passion uh, towards you. Um, and I feel like that they can also be the kind of person that likes to, mm, I don't know, be a little dirty in bed <laughs> with this devil. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a question, do you see me as someone who is all about the sex? I'm really not. I really want to make you happy as well. Um, um, but they have pa passion with the ace of, of wands and the devil. 
um, lots and lots of passion, but also lots of respect. And in the extended, we can we will see what's going on sexually a little bit more <laughs> uh, about their wants uh, and needs and desires, so uh, and dreams. Okay, so you guys, um, so follow me there. It's in my um, membership site, and as you know, it, you get it a lot cheaper in there if you become a member, and you get more of these extended readings each month. Okay, so. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Perhaps I'll see you there, perhaps not. <clears throat> but always take care. Lots of wishes of good, good luck and love <laughs> from me to you. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.